Let's now see the key steps involved in the operationalization of the waste disposal. The primary step is the proper segregation of waste by the healthcare providers, followed by which the collection and storage of this waste in the healthcare facility. Next is the transportation of the segregated waste and then the final step is the treatment and disposal of the waste. Let's now see the individual steps. The first one is segregation. It is basically the basic separation of different categories of waste generated at source. Why do we need to segregate the waste at source? Primarily to reduce the risk of infecting others, to reduce the treatment cost and to reduce the recycling of non-infectious waste. This is the most crucial step and who is responsible for it? The person who is generating the waste. The waste generated are segregated in four different color coded bins. We will go one by one. The first one is yellow. The types of waste which can be segregated in the yellow bin include human anatomical waste, primarily the human tissues, organs, body parts, fetus below viability period, etc. And the type of bag or container is primarily the yellow colored non chlorinated plastic bags. And the final method of treatment and disposal will be incineration or plasma pyrolysis or deep burial in facilities which don't have an access to common treatment facility. Next comes the animal anatomical waste, mainly the experimental animal carcasses, body parts, organs, tissues, including the waste generated from animals used in experiments or testing in veterinary hospitals or colleges or animal houses. The same type of yellow colored non chlorinated plastic bags are used and the treatment and disposal is by way of incineration or plasma pyrolysis. The next type of waste is the soil waste. Primarily, the items contaminated with blood, body fluids like dressings, plaster casts, cotton swabs and bags containing residual or discarded blood and blood components are discarded in yellow colored non chlorinated plastic bags. The disposal mechanism is by way of incineration or plasma pyrolysis or deep burial. In the absence of above facilities, autoclaving or microwaving or hydroclaving followed by shredding or mutilation or combination of sterilization and shredding are practiced. The treated waste to be sent for energy recovery. Just to recapture everything in yellow bag human or animal anatomical waste and all the soil waste will be collected in yellow colored non chlorinated plastic bags and then disposed of in yellow colored containers. The other types of waste which are discarded in the yellow color containers are expired or discarded medicines. Primarily, pharmaceutical waste like antibiotics, cytotoxic drugs, including all items contaminated with cytotoxic drugs with glass or plastic ampules or vials, etc., are discarded in yellow colored non chlorinated plastic bags or containers. The expired cytotoxic drugs and items contaminated with cytotoxic drugs should be returned back to the manufacturer or supplier for incineration at more than 1200 degrees centigrade or to a common biomedical waste treatment facility or hazardous waste treatment storage and disposal facility for incineration at more than 1200 degrees centigrade. The other alternative mechanism could be encapsulation or plasma pyrolysis at more than 1200 degrees centigrade. All other discarded medicine shall be either sent back to the manufacturer or disposed by incineration. Cytotoxic waste and personal protective equipment used for handling the cytotoxic waste should also be disposed in yellow bags.
Chemicals, chemicals used in the production of biological, biological and used and or discarded disinfectants should also be discarded in yellow colored containers or non chlorinated plastic, plastic bags. bags. They are disposed, they are disposed of by incineration of plasma pyrolysis. pyrolysis. Similarly, liquid waste generated due to chemicals in the production of biological and used or discarded disinfectants, silver X ray film developing liquid, discarded formalin infected secretions, aspirated body fluid, liquids from laboratories and flow washing, cleaning, housekeeping and disinfected activities. There should be a separate collection system leading to an effluent treatment plan. After resource recovery, the chemical liquid waste shall be pre-treated before mixing with the general waste water. The combined discharge shall conform to the discharge norms given in the Schedule 3. Discarded linen, mattresses, beddings contaminated with blood or body fluids, routine masks and gown should be discarded using non-chlorinated yellow plastic bags or suitable packing material. The following should be discarded by incineration or plasma pyrolysis. In the absence of above facilities, shredding or mutilation or combination of sterilization and shredding should be utilized. All person protective equipments except gloves and plastic aprons need to be discarded in yellow bags. Microbiology, biotechnology and other clinical laboratory waste like blood bags, vacuum trainers, lab cultures, stocks or specimens of microorganisms, live or attenuated vaccines, human and animal cell cultures used in research industrial laboratories, production of biological, residual toxins, dishes and devices used for culture should be autoclaved and then disposed. All these materials need to be pre-treated to sterilize with non-chlorinated chemicals as per the WHO guidelines on safe management of waste from healthcare activities which is mentioned in the WHO Blue Book 2014 and thereafter sent for incineration. Just to recap Microbiology, biotechnology and other clinical lab waste and blood bags go into yellow bags. Coming on to the red category, contaminated waste which could be recycled need to be discarded in yellow color bags. Waste generated from disposable items such as tubings, bottles, IV tubes, catheters, urine bags, syringes without needles and fix it in syringes with their needles cut and gloves need to be discarded in red colored non chlorinated plastic bags and then disposed of in using so once again let's recap red bags contaminated recyclable waste such as ca infected catheters IV sets disposable syringe without needles euro bags venflons disposable plastic aprons and gloves which are infected Next comes the white category where waste shafts including metals need to be discarded. Needles, syringes with fixed needles, needles from needle tip cutters or burners, scalpels, blades or any other sharp contaminated object may, which may cause puncture and cuts need to be discarded in white translucent puncture proof, leak proof and tamper proof containers. The ideal method of disposal is autoclaving or dry heat sterilization followed by shredding or mutilization or encapsulation in a metal container or cement concrete. So just to recap, needles and metal shafts need to go into white translucent disposable plastic sharp containers. Please note not to discard any broken glassware into this container. The next category is blue category where glassware and metallic body implants need to be discarded. Glassware include broken or discarded and contaminated glass including medicine vials and ampules except those contaminated with cytotoxic waste. They need to be discarded in puncture proof and leak proof blue color boxes. Disinfection or autoclaving microwaving need to be done and then they should be sent for recycling. 
Just to recap, all glassware and metallic body implants need to be discarded in blue color container.